Seconds. Aren't there many things you're supposed to be doing? Yes. Then what are you doing? There was a bomb scare. I know. Casey. There was a bomb scare. Did you know the two of you have been repeating that over and over for the last hour and 20 minutes? Do you know you've been repeating that over and over? Yes. Why? There was a bomb scare. Yes. There was. It's over well, now. Well, it worked. What are you doing? We're scared. Casey. Dana, somebody just tried to blow up this building, and you people are walking around like... Somebody didn't just try to blow up this building. Nobody tried to blow up the building. They threatened to blow up the building. Oh, please, get to work. Was this just the herd instinct, or did we actually get an all clear from someone in authority? They didn't find the bomb. This is a huge building. They searched for an hour and 20 minutes. I can't find my car keys in an hour and 20 minutes. They have very advanced ways of detecting these things. Do they? Yes. Two, four, six, on a hard count. Bam, bam, bam. Got it. Well, what are they? What are what? What are the advanced ways they have of detecting these things? Yeah. Well, what, what are the advanced ways? Well, as I understand it, they use dogs. I'm out of here, right behind you. Oh, get a hold of yourselves, would you? Dogs? Dogs, yes, specially trained dogs. We want to meet them. Guys. We want to meet the dogs right now. Okay, and what will you say to the dogs when you meet them? She's got a decent point. Yeah. Pittsburgh put Steve Boyer and Randy McNeil on waivers. That's a story. Yes, it is. Don't you think that's a story? Yeah, you know what else is a story? Somebody tried to blow us up? Yeah. These two are the biggest babies. Hey, you're afraid of fish, okay? I'm afraid of dying in hail of shrapnel. Who's crazier? There's a contest. McNeil and Boyer in the 30s get paint box on and over the shoulder. Thank you. Natalie? Fellas, you got 10 minutes of coffee and you got to get into wardrobe. We're just saying, do they look hard? Like, do they look at the bottom drawer of our filing cabinet? We never use that drawer. Everything's fine. Jeremy, isn't everything fine? Yes. Everything's fine? How do you know? Jeremy just told me. Seriously. Chris, give me Salt Lake. Jeremy, I use dogs. Do you know what a bomb looks like? Actually, I don't. Does anyone? Chris? No. Will? No. Dave? No. But we're betting a German Shepherd can pick one out. They smell them. They smell them. Yes, Chris. Salt Lake's up. They're trained in this? Yes, Dave. Camera three to Mark. Well, Trent? What? Their sense of smell. It's superior. Yes. Let's see. One through five, and I need Cincinnati. Dan, Casey. I have a question. What? These dogs. Do they ever get a cold? Cincinnati's up. No. They don't? No. Never? No. What are you, a vet? Please. Is there anyone who can say anything that will make us feel like the smart thing to do is to stay in this building right now? In ten minutes, three and a half million people will tune in to watch the two of you on television. Many of them will be women. All right. Ten minutes live. gonna be in uh, outline form, but he's kept me pretty well up to speed on it, so I think... The deficit overlay? That sounds fine. We can meet at four if you like. No, wait, I'm sorry. I've got to run out of four. We can meet at 6.30. Good. Thanks. I spoke to him just this morning. He sounds awfully good. 
Yes, I spoke to him just this morning. I will. <laughs> Thanks. So you spoke to Isaac this morning? No. I spoke to Esther. <laughs> Isaac couldn't. He was unable to come to the phone when I called. Is there any sign of this? Sign of what? Of Isaac having a stroke. Was there any sign of this? Was there any sign of Isaac having a stroke? Yes. Other than Isaac having a stroke? Dana, it's unbecoming of you to blame me for any part of this. It's a shame, JJ, because I want so much to be attractive to you. You know, we're going to have to work together. Yes, I know. For instance, I can help you with a deficit overlay. Isaac kept me up to speed. And if you want to create the impression that Isaac's healthier than he is, for instance, if you want to create the impression that Isaac's still in control of the show when clearly he's unable to even speak on the telephone, I can help you there, too. He wasn't able to come to the phone when I called this morning, J.J. He's able to speak. He just had a stroke, Dana. Where was he? Square dancing? What do you want? Excuse me? What do you want? I want to do my job. I want to help you, which is my job, and I want to do it all without being treated like the guy who just ran over your dog. How's that? That's fine. Look, you can't run the organization or run the show at the same time. I don't have to run the organization. But you can't talk on the telephone, Dana. Right now, today. I'm saying right now, today, give some of your responsibilities to Sally. What's wrong with Natalie? We have more confidence in Sally. I have more confidence in Natalie. Be that as it may. You want me to run the organization but let the network make all the decisions? I want you and I to work together to ensure that the network does it. What? Feel the need to bring in... An interim managing editor? Yes. There's no need to do that. I agree. That is a bad move. That is a wrong call. And I'll stand in Luther's office and tell him that's a wrong call. Luther could give a damn what you think is a wrong call, Dana. He cares what I think is a wrong call. So don't sit there and think that I need you to like me. I'm telling you the way it is. Hey. 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 This is weird. This is exactly where our office used to be. We can continue this in the conference room. So, JJ, yesterday was interesting. How so? How so? Yes. Well... McKinney had 41 points against the Clippers. The Diamondbacks won their fourth in a row. And then there was that thing where somebody tried to blow us up. Yeah. Don't take it personally. No, I think I will take it personally. The bomb threat was a hoax. What was it about? Denny Denton. What about him? They don't like his radio show. I don't like his radio show either. You know what I do? What? Change the station. Would that the world were as enlightened as you, Dan? Oh, were that it would? Were. What? Never mind. <laughs> Thank you. When can I see rough features? Two hours. Let's go. Uh, Dana. Esther said he's doing a little better today. I'll call her in a little bit. You all right? Yeah. With him? <laughs> yeah. So we're two likable guys, right? I think so. I think we're very likable. I'm liked wherever I go. I'm liked wherever I go and wherever you go. We're perfectly likable. Yes. And yet somebody tried to blow us up. That's what I'm saying. Does this include Seattle? Yes. No, it does. It doesn't. The film from last night. Yes. Seattle. Yes. It does. It does. It doesn't. Hey, hey Betty, Wilma, is Seattle on the tape? Excuse me. Hey. Hi. Good news. Pluto isn't being demoted as a planet. I need to talk to you. Can we go in the editing room? Sure. Thanks. I, it was going to be demoted as a planet. It was going to receive minor planet status, but apparently there was an outpouring of protest. Doesn't the whole thing strike you as funny? What I'm going to say might well seem abrupt and terrible, but when I say it, I want you to remember that the key word, the key word is temporarily. Temporarily is the key word, so there's not going to be any reason to be upset or unhappy, okay? I think we should temporarily, temporarily stop seeing each other. Okay. I'm serious. I know. I think we should temporarily stop seeing each other. Okay. I'm serious. I know.
Why are you not unhappy? I don't acknowledge it. You don't acknowledge it? I don't recognize the breakup, I'm sorry. No, you can't not recognize I it. I am. You can't. I did. Natalie, this is a very hard time right I'm now. Sorry. My head is coming apart. I know. I need to be able to get my life in order, to say nothing of what's going on with Isaac. I mean, this is a good time to give Dana everything we've got. I know. We need to stop seeing each other. No. Wait. I break up with you. Hmm, not this time. No, I gotta go back to work. Natalie, this is unilateral. I don't need you to sign off on this in order for it to be valid. Sweetie, if it makes you feel better to break up with me, that's fine, but I don't break up with you. It doesn't work like that. And it's working like that right now. Does or does not the film contain Seattle? Hang on. It does. It does. Apparently it does. I'm not kidding, Natalie. I'm totally serious. Would you guys like us to step out? No. Jeremy's trying to break up with me, but it won't take. Natalie! Me. Show me Seattle. Before I get mad at you, how is Isaac? His blood pressure's normal. Oh, that's something. Why are you mad at me? Why were you avoiding me during the bomb scare? I wasn't avoiding you. You were. We were out on the street for over an hour. It was a perfectly good bomb scare. I tried to find you. No, you didn't. And every time I tried to find you, someone would say you had just left the place and someone else had just said you had been right before. That was a truly spectacular sentence. Danny. It was a bomb scare, Rebecca. I was serpentining. I was employing the covert ordinance tactics that I learned. Where did you learn covert ordinance tactics? I am. You're avoiding me. Yes. No, you are. I just admitted it. You are, Danny. I'm saying I am. Why are you avoiding me? Why? Yeah. Take a wild, flailing shot in the dark. I take a ridiculous nothing on the line, Hail Mary toss in the backcourt, Heave as to why I might be avoiding you. Because you thought Steve and I were divorced when in reality we're only separated and Steve wants us to go back into counseling and I'm on the fence about it and you hate Steve? That's amazing. Damn. That's amazing that you got it on the first guest like that. I'm going to take you on tour. We're going to make some money, me and I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about going back into counseling with Steve. I never said we needed to stop dating. I will absolutely not stand in the way of another man's marriage. Then what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Yes. I came to say hi. Hi? <laughs> no kidding. I know you were looking for me yesterday, but I reaffirmed my position that I'm here for you. Could it be wrong for us to date? But it should be noted that I'm here for you. Where? Here. So your strategy for this is to be wonderful? Yes. Listen. You know why? Why? Works every time. Hey, Dad. Hey, Stuart. Gotta go. <sighs> Sally, I hope this won't disrupt things too much on the 2 a.m. It won't. It's just for a week or so. I understand. Just till Isaac gets back. I'm just surprised. Are you? Surprised that you asked me. Why? I would have thought that you'd have more confidence in Natalie. No. I'd have thought you would. <laughs> no. Good news. What? Pluto's still a planet. It was touch and go there for a while. Don't underestimate Pluto. Pluto doesn't know the word quit. Natalie, in Isaac's absence, I'm going to have Sally assume some of my functions while I assume some of Isaac. I had a hunch. Thanks for helping out, Sally. Sure. It's just till Isaac gets back. Right. And I'm talking about some of my functions, not a lot. Right. Hardly any. I understand. Hey. Guys, I'm having Sally take over a very small number of my functions. That's fine. Not any functions at all. Can I say something, please? Sure. Natalie and I have broken up. We have. In his head. I put it in writing. That's sweet. All right, just so you know, if I wanted to, right now, I could ask out other women. No. I could? No. Dana, would you like to go out with me? I can't. Why not? We're seeing Natalie. That's it. I'm calling the police. We've got the whip around with what? Baltimore, New York, Boston, Oakland, San Francisco, and L.A. Features. Mike Richter, the Chinese swimmer in the Lakers front court. 
Where are they? 20, 50, and 60. Where are we on time? We're six minutes long. Let's get it down to two by the 10 o'clock. That is all. Back here at 10. Hang on. I've been handed some information I've requested on basically what to do in the event you think the building you're in might blow up at any moment. For instance, it says you should stay away from unsecured walls or open electrical wiring. So, it's a good thing you and I don't work in front of a fake backdrop over which hangs like a million volts of electrical equipment. Yeah. Back here at 10. I need to talk to you. Sure. My mother and father are getting a divorce. I know that. My father's been having an affair with another woman for 27 years. I know that too. That's since before I was born. And someone, I'm not saying who, has a little birthday coming up. Natalie, stop walking. <laughs> Nothing is the same anymore. Many things are the same. Natalie. I believe that your decision-making skills aren't the best right now. I'm taking you into receivership. We're not broken up. He can hear you though, right? He understands what you're saying? Well, tell him everything here is fine. Tell him to watch the show. Tell him everything is fine. I wish you'd let me do more, Esther. All right. Goodbye. Isaac's wife? Yeah, he's doing better today. Good. Sally, tell me you didn't have anything to do with Natalie getting muscled to the side. You know, for someone I'm sleeping with, sometimes you don't say the nicest things to me. I'm sorry. There's going to be a press conference after the owners meet tonight in Tucson. I can get you on the satellite feed between 1020 and 1040. You want it? Yeah. You got it. But ask Natalie first. I got a phone call, Casey. That's all. How many people know about us? How many have you told? I told Dan. Then that's how many know. Okay. Do you mind seeing me tonight? Call me after your show. Should I just come over? Yeah, just come over. Okay. You can talk to Natalie about the other thing. Okay. I'm sorry about Isaac. Thanks. I mean, yeah, okay. Hey, Dan. Hey, Sam. What the hell does that mean? What? No, I mean, what the hell does that mean? What the hell does what mean? Hey, Sally. It meant, hey, Sally. Okay, so did I just totally come unglued? Yeah. I'd like to see it in you. It's a tense time. Glue's not gonna work. Wanna try it again? Yeah. Hey, Sally. Hey, Dan. There you go. Thanks. She's totally unglued. We need to give that speech to Dana and Natalie. What speech? The unglued speech. It wasn't a speech. It was a talking to, and we need to give it to Dana and Natalie. I notice they're a little too calm. Oh, they're way too calm. Frighteningly calm. They're gonna blow any second. I've been thinking the exact same thing. We can't defuse the explosives, but we can detonate them in an unpopulated area. Drive it out to the desert where it can't hurt anybody. That's right. Uh, if you've got some calm people and you want to make them upset, I say we're the guys to do it. Yeah. Should we eat first? Yeah. <laughs> No problem. <laughs> oh, Sally put together a Q&A for the feed from Tucson. Good. Natalie, it's what JJ wanted. He made a threat and I believed him. It's okay. This isn't a good time to fight with the network. I understand. Thank you. It's no problem. No problem. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Could be better. No big deal. What's going on? Well, let's see. The building had to be evacuated last night because a group of God-fearing people said they didn't like Danny Denton's impression of the Son of God. Why? Because Danny Denton does not with a lisp. My girlfriend, whom I've grown quite fond of, is thinking of going back to her husband, but that's just because he treats her bad. The only thing in Jeremy's life that makes him happy right now is Natalie, so he's decided this would be a good time to get rid of Natalie. 
The network decided this is a good time to show Dana who's boss, so unless you do something and lickety split, his name's gonna be JJ. And oh yeah, Isaac's lying in a bed at Columbia Press with a stroke. Anything else? We got the satellite feed from Tucson. And we're all set. Good show, everybody. Let's eat him up. For women. What? For women. You're women? Yes. I have to say, Danny, that in both our cases, there's considerable evidence to support that theory. Dana? What? We're in charge. We're women in charge, and we're keeping it together. That's what we do. That's what you do? That's right. Well, we're men. We're petrified. That's what we do. We found that giving in to our fears has made us stronger. And not just a little pathetic. Right. Mostly stronger. Yeah. So if you're scared, if you're sad, if you're mad, you should tell us. It's entirely possible we'd be able to say or do something to make you feel better. That's the other thing we do. Did you say a lisp? Yes. Danny Denton was doing Jesus with a list? Yes. And that's why somebody tried to blow us up? Yes. I still hate you, you yes. know. Yes. Isaac had a stroke, and somebody tried to blow up the building. We're not having our best week, are we? No. But there's some good news coming in 11 seconds, though. Good news? Yeah. What? You ready? Three minutes to air. First team to the studio, please. Have a good show. Hang in there with this, Natalie. Jeremy, the network. I'll tell them I can use Sally's help. I'm going to run my show, and JJ can take a seat in the bleachers. Whatever you need, I need you. And I need Isaac back, and I need people to stop trying to blow up the building. You got me? Let's start. Let's go. Two minutes. Let's eat him up. I was watching tonight. And I think you are absolutely right about Jeremy, by the way. Refusing to accept the breakup? Do not accept it. It is not recognized. It is not valid. I agree. Roll BTR, 60 seconds live. Stand by two to A, four, and five. Loading FX5. FX5 is loaded. No, it's not. It's loaded. Because I just loaded it now. I will kill you both with my hands. You're all set. Have a good show. Thank you, Allison. Allison. Yes? Don't stand too close to this wall. It's not real. In fact, everybody listen up. The metallurgy, the structural wiring, the glass... I know we've come to think of this place as home, but it's a shooting gallery. If you hear ticking, run for your lives. Okay, good show. 30 seconds live. I'd just like to confirm for everybody that I am Jeremy's girlfriend. Natalie. I am his girlfriend, and he's seen me naked many times. Natalie. Sometimes I do a little dance. I front, mister. In 10. Dan? Yeah. Just wanted to say that... If anything terrible ever had to happen to one of us, I'd want it to be you. Thanks. In three, two... Good evening from New York City. I'm Dan Rydell alongside Casey McCall. Those stories plus an avalanche in Colorado, lightning in Tampa Bay, and warriors in the Golden State. We've got the suns moving in Phoenix, hurricanes in Miami, but guess what? Pluto's still a planet. All that coming up after this. You're watching Sports Night on CSC. So stick around.